Last week I was scrolling through my phone and I came across a brilliant video on Facebook and I wanted to save it and watch it later but I forgot and then when I went to Facebook on my computer I couldn't find the video anywhere and that video was an ad so the chances of that being shown to me again anytime soon were relatively small so I was a bit annoyed so instead of worrying I went to the Facebook ads library I found that video and then I downloaded it onto my computer. And if you've ever wondered how you can download a video ad from Facebook onto your computer, then I'm gonna show you exactly how in this video and it's all free. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is come to the Facebook ad library, which is completely free and anybody can access it. Now, the Facebook ad library is a collection of advertisements that are currently running across Facebook and all of Facebook's apps and services such as Instagram. So I'm going to show you how you can use this to find ads for this purpose. So first of all, where it says here, search ads, I've got Japan selected because I'm in Japan. You probably have the country that you're based in. So we'll just click on this and I'm just going to search for all. Now, of course, if you want to search for a specific country, you can, but this just makes life easier. And then add category from this drop down, we're going to choose all ads. Now in here, you've got two options. You can search by keyword, so you might put something such as weight loss or dog training, or you can type in the advertiser's name, which is going to be the name of a Facebook page that is actually advertising on Facebook or Instagram, etc. Now, of course, if you don't know a particular page, then it's much better just to stick with keywords. So I'm just gonna put in here dog training and hit enter and we'll see what it brings up. Now, again, it really does depend on the keyword as to the kind of stuff that is brought up. So we can see here we've got ads in different languages. Some ads are not video. So we're gonna to need to click on these filters. And first of all, the language. So this is fairly self-explanatory. So from the language dropdown, wait for it to load up, we're gonna to wanna to choose English. And then while that's loading up, I don't know why that's taking a long time, we're gonna come down here and we're going to click on videos because we want videos. And then we've got the languages. So we're gonna come and choose English. Just click outside of this. So now we want to apply these two filters. So that's gonna get rid of any ads that are not in English and that are not video. So we're gonna get a smaller number of advertisements. And as we come down here, we can see we've got these different video ads here. And what you wanna do is you wanna locate an ad. You can go through and you can watch all these videos, but you want to find a video that you want to delve a little bit deeper in. Potentially a video that has somebody speaking because we're going to need to extract the script of this video. If it's a video that just has music or it's just got you know images that go back and forth, it's not really gonna be useful for this. So I'm gonna pause this video and just go through and play some. And then when I found one that I think is suitable, we'll um, get cracking. So hold on two seconds. Okay, so I've decided to go with this one. A lot of these ads were just music and you know, fun, cute, you know, things of dogs. But this one actually had a man speaking. So we're gonna go with this one and we are going to come up here to where it says see ad details and we're gonna click on this and we get a little bit of information about this. Now this is the important thing. What we need to do here is we need to right click and we need to click on inspect and that is going to get some kind of code or information that might be at the bottom or it might be along the right side. It depends on your browser and how you've got things set up and it doesn't really matter. From here you want to find network and click on this once and then you want to hover over where the video is somewhere up here and just press play. And then you can see here we've got media. Now, when we've got media here, this comes down here, which is actually the video. So we are gonna right click on this, right click, and um, basically open it in a new tab. And you can see it downloads here. So when th now that's downloaded, I'm actually going to um, close this off. So let me just do that one second. Okay, so I've closed it off. I've come back to the Facebook ads library. And you can see down here, that was the file that we had downloaded. So I'm just gonna drag this off screen onto my computer. And let me just right click on this and click get info. And then I'll kind of bring this across over here. So what you can see here, this is not an MP4 file. It's been downloaded as a, as a text edit file. So right now it's not a video that we can actually watch. But how do we switch this to a video? Well, it's very simple. Where it says name and extension, just come right to the end. And you'll see an N. 
click just next to the end, then type .mp4, hit enter, then click on add, and now it's a video. Bingo. So now we've got a video that we can actually play. And if I um, open this up here, let me just open up the video. We'll open up the QuickTime player. This is the actual video that we have downloaded. I'll make it a little bit smaller so you can see it. Bring it across. Let's press play. Hey guys, Michael J. Sword. So now we have the video. We've got the video, we've taken it from the Facebook ad library, we've done a little bit of magic, and we've got a video on our computer. That's pretty much it. Now you can go out and build a quality swipe file of Facebook video ads for your own research and get inspiration. I'm gonna make another video which is gonna cover this process once more, but it's also gonna talk about how you can take this video and use AI to extract the script, to rewrite the script, and then to go and craft your own version of of something similar. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, and I will see you soon. Take care. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.